In today's 2-Minute Tech Tip, I'm covering a couple use cases for the Tickle Shell that is included with the Big IP. iRules, TMSH, and iCall Scripts, the implementation section of iApps, they all use Tickle, so getting comfortable with the Tickle Shell will be quite beneficial. A very common task in iRules development is handling the URI. Now, you can't use custom iRules commands like HTTP URI in the Tickle Shell, but you can set the URI in a variable and work with that. So let's get logged into the Big IP and launch the tickle shell and let's set the URI to path to files dot ext with a parameter and a value then we'll use string range against it to pull out everything after the path alright there's the URI so we can use a string range command against that all right, we got almost everything, but we're missing the slash. Okay, so there's one example. Another example is code efficiency. You can use the time command to compare one way of doing things versus another and see the results instantly. So we can check the time on a simple math problem by iterating it a couple hundred thousand times. So let's time the expression of 3 times 4 and do that 100,000 times. So that's about 1.59 microseconds per iteration. Now if we wrap that in curly braces and run that again you can see that that's quite a bit orders of magnitude actually uh, more efficient uh, wrapping it in curly braces than, than not doing that. Alright so one more example and then we'll get out of here if you are fans of the office like I am and I'm just gonna copy this you will recall when Jim set a macro uh, for every time Dwight um, typed his name it ended up diapers so we can do a string map on that of every time we see Dwight let's replace that with diapers and next boom there we go all right, I'm out of time, but I highly recommend using the Tickle Shell as a tool to use in your Tickle environment. This has been your two-minute tech tip on the Tickle Shell.